Okay, so this is a Demion, and it says here, Woke, <laughs> woke Sweet Baby Defenders demand you not buy Black Myth Wukong plus Riders Defame and Boycott Game. Mm. It's just satisfying. Come on, it's just near. Hey everyone, it's Endymion, and it's officially been over a week now since Black Myth Wukong has it's been released. a week? I'm it's been for like forever since this, Jesus Christ. Currently on chapter 4, I'm almost level 80-ish, and I'm loving the game so far. It just keeps getting better. I don't know how else to put it than that. The game's systems keep opening up as I play, the enemy variety is surprisingly well done, and the bosses are also starting to get much more difficult as I keep playing. Nothing feels impossible, of course, but it is definitely a challenge nonetheless. So in this video, let's talk about Wukong and how it's being defamed, attacked, and its detractors are being ousted as anti-white hating individuals. Mm. Firstly, from that park place, legal analyst asserts that Dot Esports Tom Foley defamed Black Myth Wukong developer Game Science. So in case you don't remember, in my previous Wukong video, I talked about Dot Esports, a website that wrote an article that is titled, Black Myth Wukong's shameless lack of diversity is attracting the wrong type of fans. The entire article, to sum it up quickly, it paints the game. You know as what's being really a weird problem. about this when they keep mentioning that whole like uh, lack of diversity nonsense against this game? Don't they realize that this is a Chinese folklore type game? This is from the Chinese. This is not something that was just made up and someone just thought of. This was something that was made like thousands or hundreds of years ago or so. But the Black Myth Wukong thing is from like Journey to the West is extremely famous in like Japanese culture. I think these people really don't think, I think they are under the impression that this was a game that was just made up by some random on the street and then in China and just got famous over its like story writing or whatever the hell. I don't, that's why I'm kind of, under, I'm under this impression because there's no way in hell you can sit here and say it lacks diversity when it's not even... Like, the idea of JR, diversity JR, stuff wasn't in effect. Of course they realize. Of course the they realize. These the people writing these articles don't believe their own lies. Don't it's, all their own lies. it's all part of the misdirection propaganda culture war. It's all part of the misdirection propaganda culture war. Yeah. Because that's annoying. Like, that, that, like, don't you guys realize, like, this is a Chinese game. Like, it's from the Chinese. It's from their cultures, folklore type stuff. Like, like Greek mythology... Uh, like uh, wait, what's the green mythology? Was it um Olympic Olympian Olympian mythology? All that stuff, like, it's like that type of stuff. But I don't know what the fuck they're trying to start. But it's pretty much what Jr. said. Problem that shouldn't be celebrated because it lacks diversity. Even though it's a game where you play a magical mute monkey who fights all kinds of weird critters from foxes, wolves, dragons, spiders, and more. There's even some humans in the game too, but they also tend to turn into some sort of mythical creature. So if anything, Wukong is the most diverse game that has ever been made. Because <laughs> plenty of species are in it, but again, as we already know, forced diversity does not equal a good product. It actually takes more than stuffing your experience with checklists to make it something that people actually want to buy. And by they have, since Wukong has apparently led to a surge of players in its wake on places like Steam. Like this article from IGN, Black Myth Wukong lifts Steam to 37 million concurrent players for first time. Damn. Yep, the release of the mega-based hit has helped Steam reach a new milestone in total players. In case you also don't know, Wukong has sold well over 10 million copies at this point. Some are saying that it's now crossed 15 million units. However, I was unable to find proof of that claim, so I can't confirm if that's true or not. And you see, confirming if things are true or not with real information is what separates someone like me or Yellow Flash from the journalists of the world. Sure, we'll crack jokes from time to time, but largely speaking, these videos wouldn't exist unless there's credibility involved. Unlike Mike Zero, I actually provide evidence when I make my videos. And when you don't have evidence of things happening or just make up what others say without showing their side, this can lead to what is called defamation. Pretty much, you can get sued for presenting someone as saying something that they didn't actually say, which in turn ruins their public or professional image, hence defaming. Well, let's circle back to that Park Place article. So Legal Mindset, who's a lawyer and a YouTuber, hell of a combo, 
has come to the defense of Wukong saying that Dot Esports journalist Tom Foley is pretty much defaming Black Myth Wukong with their whole carefully constructed article that says things that never happened in order to push a narrative. Legal Mindset says in his video, and I quote, It's worth pointing out that what he's saying is, essentially, I mean at certain points, defamatory. It's business defamation. Business defamation being making false statements that harm a business's reputation or their, you know, business. Their course of business, etc. To stop here for a second between the quote, Legal Mindset then quotes what Tom Foley said in his .esports report which states, Considering the reports of sexism running rampant within the developer's workplace, we can only speculate, but I strongly believe Wukong's lack of diversity is adding fuel to the fire. Legal Mindset then responded to Tom Foley's accusations again and I quote, <laughs> I quote, and this is World of Warcraft. <laughs> This is defamation, he's got no proof of this at all whatsoever, so that's defamatory, he's defaming them right there, end quote. And this, my friends, is what has been happening when it comes to Wukong's success, because its massive performance is not a good look for an industry that is trying to actively change the behaviors and wants of the player base at large. You need only take a look at stuff like Concord, which has recently lost around 60% of its player base already, which was small to begin with. And unlike Tom Foley over at Dot Esports, who defames developers with no evidence, I actually like to show it, so here's some receipts. On Steam charts, Concord had 587 players over the weekend. This week, however, it's down to less than 200. This is the kind of game the industry wants more of, and it's not because the game is good or offers the players anything different, it doesn't, but because of what it stands for which is diversity, pronouns, and anti-white male player audiences, and the player base of Concord is no surprise that it's open to abysmal numbers. But this is what happens when you chase everything besides what players actually want from their games these days. Wukong, however, is soaring. It has made well over $600 million in revenue already, and that number was from last week. Right, now, right, who knows, it could be yeah. 700 yeah. or 800 at oh, this right. point. A billion is very likely well before the end of the year for sure, but this is what happens when you cater to what players actually want. And I would wager that in the future we're going to see more dev studios and publishers chasing the Wukong-esque style of marketing and game design over what the industry is doing these days. <laughs> so, exactly so piss off. <laughs> so technically just piss off game trailers at any stop that you can. <laughs> because it seems like if you piss them off... You're more likely going to get more base players. <laughs> so go back to the early 2000s. <laughs> Make games that actually were worth a damn. <laughs> Put a white uh, protagonist, male protagonist with some actual masculinity who actually eats meat and don't eat soy. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Very obvious that if you chase the modern audience, the only thing you end up finding at the end of that rainbow is your early grave. Other YouTubers like Fei Fi defends <laughs> Wukong on her channel and shows. No, he said rainbow. <laughs> Time to develop the Time to develop and the game. Bother and me, when I'll the journalist bothers me, I'll give them an official response of "Go up yourself." <laughs> exactly. Those examples within that prove that these translations about the game are not being done professionally, but instead in bad faith. This then all circles back to that IGN article that started this all, and if you don't remember, Rebecca Valentine, who wrote that article, got the help of another person named Ki Hoon Chan, who is a freelance Ryan journalist Ryan that Ryan helped her translate what basically make was about. Basically, make them mad, the and they'll talk about your game, and you will get free advertising. Yeah, you just get a promotion. You get promoted. Just pissing them off gives you free advertisement. They don't even know that you're 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 my influencer by default. More. <laughs> Of course, like See, they would only win if they just don't talk about it, but they can't help themselves because, you know, they have to seem like they're an activist hero amongst the people when they're really they're the villain and they don't even know it. When you're Delulu, you don't know anything. You're just not self. When you lack self-awareness, you say crazy shit. Said Fei Fi says that what Ki Hoon Chan did was not professional and instead took what was said and then translated it in the worst way that they could muster. It would be like me saying, damn, I really don't like the weather today and then someone translating what I said into their native tongue and somehow saying that I don't like women. 
Like what Ki Hoon Chan and Damn. Rebecca Valentine said in their article, it had no evidence and many Chinese players have rallied against IGN's claims, saying that none of it was true and they were simply lying to paint a narrative. Yet we're now being called awful human beings for sticking up for a developer because we refuse to believe what IGN was trying to do here. I'll tell you something, what what the Chinese or CCP should do is literally do what Asmin Gold did and exactly what Netflix what happened to Netflix when they pulled that bullshit with uh, Cleopatra with, uh, uh, what's her name, Smith, uh, Jay Pinkett Smith. What, what they should do is just sue the fuck out of them. Straight up, making up lies and stuff, they should just sue the living shit out of them. That would be wild. And go after those games journalists who made any type of response. Yeah, and make them make an apology. Make a public apology, too. Mm-hmm. I think that's what they should do. I think most of these countries should start doing that, just start suing them when they start insane things that was not even there. This brings me to another article from Park Place about Chan titled, Put them accountable. Put them in some bullshit, you know. IGN writer who smeared game science and Black Myth Wukong calls for boycott of game previously admitted to hating white people. Yeah, to the surprise of nobody, the person who translated for IGN, they really hate white people, and they also have a biased narrative to the surprise of nobody with a functioning brain. Smash J but why though? AT also made a video deep diving into Chan as well, which I'll put on screen here for you too. And Chan got really, really mad once Wukong came out and blew the doors off the hinges in terms of popularity and sales. And instead of congratulating a game that displays Chinese mythology and culture in such an incredible way, Chan instead said this via Twitter. I'm so effing pissed off, this has gone too far. Don't play Black Myth Wukong if you must. Go and pirate it if you enjoy it. I do not want to know it. F games. What? Oh man, when you're terminally ill. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Make this make sense. The Asian person who translated the said game or art articles or a case may be has a problem that the Asian game is doing well. But the same person would probably ask for representation. Hmm. Something about that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Hmm. Let me get, let, let me say this again. The, the Asian person, weird, who is a translator for IGN is mad at the Asian game that is doing well. <laughs> oh, it's the, you know what, you know what this is? Do you know what wokeism is? It's just satanicness in, in, its, in its highest glory, but when you really think about it, it's the Oris Boris tattoo. That's what that is. That's what that what JR, if, if you think about it. Did you know in China it's illegal to criticize China? China. Even China. The oh, I know. So Even if outside these the country. Ever go to China, I don't know about. So if these arrested. reporters ever go to China, they will be arrested. Yes, I, I I know that part. I know if you go to China, you say some insane stuff, you will get in trouble. They don't they don't tolerate that shit. But like, um, yo, bro, like I, bro, like it's the Oris Boris tattoo. For most of you who don't know what the Oris Boris tattoo is, I think for those who have seen um, uh, Full Metal Alchemist, it's the tattoo that is placed on each um, homunculus. It's the snake eating itself. That's literally what this is. It's the snake eating its own tail. That what wokeism is in a nutshell. It eats its own tail without realizing it science and all the grifters who were doing this to one of my favorite people in the industry. Chan, by the way, is saying that grifters, he means anyone, I guess, who likes Wukong, so millions of people out yeah, there. Yeah, that term grifter is really overused and used extremely wrong to the point that it has no meaning whatsoever. It's like when we use all these ists and phobes and all these, these type of terms. They don't mean anything. Really just doesn't have anything to say. Like, it really doesn't. It doesn't mean anything. I really don't. Or mean bad guys, because they don't believe Rebecca Valentine of IGN. And it's Rich saying that it's gone too far when Chan was directly responsible for the nuclear response to Wukong being attacked in the first place. This is like a rioter throwing a Molotov cocktail into a mom and pop shop, 
And instead of the place just burning down, they end up doing a GoFundMe and end up opening multiple mom and pop shops in the near future. It's the equivalent to stepping on a rake over and over as it hits you in the face and you just keep getting mad that you can't stop embarrassing yourself like this. Like, dude, you did this. The IGN article wouldn't exist without your translations. You were hired by IGN to help them. The words that were written the way that they were interpreted was done by you and you alone. There was no one to blame for this massive success and reverse loss in your favor than yourself. Saying this has gone too far might be an understatement because your efforts ended up making the people you hate into multi-millionaires overnight. Whoops. And it's hilarious that you not only are mad of yourself for creating a global phenomenon, but you also ended up advocating for illegal activity as well. You also said people should pirate Black Myth Wukong. You know that's illegal, right? You're telling people to steal something for free if they want to play it. You can't be serious here. It's like these journalists never developed mentally out of adolescence or something. How can you allow your emotions to control your actions so easily? Well, when you lack a father in life, and then also when you go to school and been babied all most of for a good four straight years and plus, you tend to say insane things and lack self-awareness in that stuff. You know. If they had just written you an know, article that was anti-China rather, anti rather than some nonsense about diversity, that was anti-China rather than some nonsense about diversity. I would have at least respected that. Mm-hmm. Shit, that's wild. When you lack l critical thinking skills and people around you that tells you the truth, that's when you say insane shit. And then that's why you could be an Asian individual from the ER, someone from, I guess, ha who's born in the U.S., hopefully, or probably, but still is Asian by descent, uh, by, by, by blood, and then still want Asian people not to make it, but also say the same thing, we need representation. Hmm. That is very weird. Huh. You're an adult for crying out loud. Be professional and own your mistakes. You thought back a few years ago that you and your friends could control everything and ruin gaming by pulling you with a diverse and exhausting But now that it hasn't worked, you want to get on at 8 instead of 9. Okay. You've pulled out the old reliable sexism and racism claims instead. Unfortunately for you, there's a lot of people out there who know how to read what Game Science said in their native tongue, and now your credibility has taken a massive shot. Why would any website want to hire you knowing that your efforts have led to what is being considered one of the greatest anti-woke, anti-modern audience moments in gaming history? This would be like hiring the guy who led in the Trojan horse JR. as your next game. Okay, yeah, conspiracy probably theory not a good okay, idea considering what happened the last time Chinese they operated what if, what the if guy China is a Chinese plant? What if China has figured out that whatever woke media trashes has figured out that whatever and woke media trashes the game. people buy it LOL. and they are using it to market the game. LOL. Mm. It might be so, but I did watch a, a it, I did watch a video. Um, I don't. Th no, I don't think so You're because that's just You're too. I don't it's say it's not elaborate. It's currently six fifty one for you, so you need to be on at seven thirty at latest, ready to go, not ending at seven hundred and thirty. All right, but um, uh, I don't. Th I get what you're saying, but I don't think it's that elaborate because, um, the Chinese and the Japanese has came to realize that they know that. Americans are lacking the very thing that most of these people are asking for. So they don't need to have to do much for them, for the Americans to buy their stuff. Um, like their anime, uh, their games and stuff. So I'm not saying that's not a possibility, but then again, uh, the, the likelihood of that being like that covert to the point that they're doing that, it's like, mm, I don't know. That's a bit of a stretch even for China. Aaron, don't because, be like, slow for on a VR. Game. Aaron, don't be slow on VR. Because the thing is, the thing is, uh, about that is, like, uh, I watched the review from, funny, funny enough, from Synthetic Man, and he said when he was playing the game and he looked at the reviews in Steam, most of them was in either English or straight up Chinese. A lot of Chinese developers, I mean, uh, developers, a lot of Chinese, uh, uh, civilians from China, uh, left a lot of like reviews on the game and positive most likely because well you know it's their thing and then he said when he was streaming the game 
he was getting a lot of Chinese viewers to watch him, and they was criticizing every little thing he was doing in the game from just virtually everything. So I don't think it's that elaborate to the point that they had this Asian person to, like, say evil things to cause up this type of stir. Only one Asian person. You know what I'm saying? Now, if they had a bunch of Asian people saying it, then probably I will believe you. Or a good, a, a good subset of them, like a good five, seven, eight, nine. Like 10, at least 10, but it's just one person, you know. But it is what I, 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 but then again, the possibility of that not possible, I mean, the possibility of that not being possible is possible. It's possible. I don't, but I don't think it's likely to be the case, I think. Because remember, Chinese, Asian people tend to stick together pretty well with each other. They don't, they, they don't bullshit each other like that to a certain extent, like certain minorities do. They don't really bullshit each other. They actually do stick together as a unit, most cases. Um, it's ever rarely they ever like want to defect, if ever. Remember the whole um, what was it? What was his name? Lin Sadi back in '08. It was in '08 when Lin Lin uh, what's his name? Something Lin from the New York Knicks when he was like presented. Nothing but Asian people was like pushing To be fair, even if the game was bad, the game there was would still be tons of there people, still from, be China tons of people well. from China raiding yes. as well. Party yes, it would. Because of communist party loyalty. Yes, that would be a thing. I'm not saying that wouldn't, that would be a thing. That would be, that would be more the likeliness. And that, that, but, but the fact that uh, Westerners are lacking um, the so-called fun that we are asking for already we're going to be open arms to the Chinese game faster than we would a Westerner anyway, because the Westerner tends to betray what was promised most, well, I'm talking about AAA most likely. I'm not going to say indie because that's that's hit or miss. That's that's an individual thing. That's not like a expected thing. Because like when it's indie, it's individual. So if they are woke, that's just them. But when it's a whole company, you know, a Fortune 500 uh, type, uh, gaming studio and they're doing shit like this and we've been told we've been saying it on the internet and been telling them we don't want this type of shit and they do it anyway and then have these woke individuals become us uh, uh, social media managers in some in some form and then start attacking fans and letting them say this crazy shit it 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 it, it, start, it starts a uh uh wait, wait what's the right word um uh, it starts with an R. Fuck. Um, fuck. We get a... Uh, what's the word? It'll come to me. Gate. But of course, ki Hoon Chan doesn't stop there because like always, these adult pretenders tend to let their emotions get the better of them. Hey, ki Hoon, uh, remember when you said this back in January? Where is it? Oh, here it is. You said this via Twitter. <sighs> White gamers have zero nuance, zero understanding of the world, and it'll forever be like this because the world bends over to meet their expectations. And if they're upset, they just scream at their targets until everything works miraculously in their favor. Very interesting. So you're blaming the fact wokeness is dying on white so, gamers, yeah, correct? So, but dying. you do realize that there's millions of players out there who are also not white, right? So my question to you then, is if there are millions of players out there who are, you know, black, brown, and so on, why are they not supporting these games and initiatives as well? Because objectively speaking, there's plenty of other kinds of players who aren't white or male, yet they never seem to actually show up when it really matters. I mean, they didn't JR, show for Concord, JR. they definitely Ironic didn't statement. also show for Suicide Ironic Squad statement. or even Dustborn. Hmm. So you're blaming what is a part of the community that isn't the whole, the sole reason for all your problems and failures. I don't know, man, it sounds like impotence to me and a lack of conviction in the long run. It would be like me saying that if a video underperforms that it's the audience's fault, but the audience, they don't owe me anything. I have to prove with my work, my research, my editing and such that I'm worthy of their time and attention. By blaming others for your own failures, it does nothing but confirm that you are incapable of facing yourself when it comes to your own losses. It's not white players' faults that everything you like is dying, Emmy, is it? Emmy. Your I own teach. ethnic people are aren't showing teach. up to support How are you. Hey, Eminem, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm just doing my thing. We're doing some reactions. We're only doing like two or three, and that's it. That's it. Or the not We're on the first one, so we only have like 
two left. Since your side makes either, so maybe it's not a white players or why things suck for me narrative, but instead that you and your friends made a bunch of crap that nobody wanted, and now you're all reaping what you sowed. Cause you guys had your chance, you were given multiple grants, cash infusions, and DEI money from around 2020 at the earliest that we know of to make all the things that you guys were making. Not, he's not lying. You were given free reign to start whatever you wanted, you had no roadblocks, nothing. Talk about privilege. And even with all the help in the world- Resentment! That was the word. You have nothing but resentment. That's what that what causes that issue. And that resentment turns into hate. Well, it's just resentment and hatred in, in, in general. And then what happens is you're going to end up being like, you know what? I don't care what Ubisoft, Microsoft, Sony. Oh, well, Sony is technically Chinese, but they're, they, they suck in that Kool-Aid hard. Um, Sony, JR, Capcom, JR, any of them. They'd be spite. like, nah. I was going to say spite. Well, say, well it, resentment can turn to spite too, I guess, and that's. But like with, with, but with 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 that notion that you already know that the people that you trusted betrayed your trust and won't do what you asked them to, the 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 people you're buying from, you're gonna go somewhere else, right? And then the the indie Chinese company or Japanese company will, who who's presenting what you want, you're gonna go over there. There, you gotta go over there. It just is what it is. You gotta, you want, you, you're going to want to get what you are asking for, right? So that's the best thing for any customer to do, you know. So world, literally. Like so you, that's why I don't think it's a, it's a, uh, like, a Chinese thing where they just sent this industry Chinese plant to become a self hatred type individual. I don't think so. I think that is a person who has sucked the Kool Aid, who's been in this uh country long enough and been brainwashed to believe that all white people's their problems and and then if anyone is probably Asian adja adjacent to white people, you're probably just as much as worse. You know what I'm saying? It's just this is just an individual who is lost in the idea of Marxism and just hatred amongst themselves and their country and blah 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 and you guys had all the help that someone could reasonably gain. Like, it's insane how so much- So I don't have a problem with the, the Chinese monkey man game. I think the Chinese monkey man game should be made uh, with whatever, um, whatever, is put, whatever is placed inside of it. And if it's good, it's good. If the game- Like, this is why I always say. Like, um, if, if, if you make a game or a video, whether you're editing a video or making a game or whatever, if your product is good- and you're being true to yourself, genuinely true to yourself and your principles, people will follow you. There's no algorithm that's going to ruin that. You know what I'm saying? Like, there is an algorithm that will make it hard, but it's not going to come completely, like, decimate you. If 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 what you're saying is true, and it has truth, facts, and, 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 and a form of uh, conviction, people will follow you piggybacking you guys got for money and so on and you still failed even the people you catered to the they them wokies they didn't even show up when it mattered either none of them bought your games read your articles liked your tweets or actually gave you the real support that mattered when times got tough yet on the flip side whenever some dei weirdo attacks a base developer like in soul ash 2's case players rallied around it the same way they did with Wukong, Stellar Blade, the list keeps going. And mind you, the people who showed up to help were not in fact all white. No, 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 my dear Ki-Hoon Chan friend. It was people <laughs> of all walks of life. Because while you believe that all it takes is surface level deep actions to achieve greatness, the human condition has always succeeded in the end anyways. And that's because deep down in our core, people know when someone's being disingenuous, when they're lying to you. And they are giving you the bare minimum in response. Oh, Aaron, just in case I don't make it in time, please send me the rest of the other, what, it's like nine? Nine, or send me a picture of the other nine worlds and I'll just check them out by myself. Response to your support. So what's very likely is the reason why your Wukong boycott didn't work and the plenty of games that sucked and failed as well is because even the people who came from all of these diverse backgrounds, which, what does that word even mean anyway? Diverse. White people's backgrounds are diverse too. A Swedish person and a dude from Serbia, they couldn't be more different in terms of culture, legends, and even infrastructure, yet they're both white-skinned. No, but that that's the problem, because they're both white-skinned. 
That's the problem. That that's the problem for them because they look similar. They don't look drastically different. Therefore, they are the same. That's just how it is. That that's how they think. As long as they as long as they're not drastically different for them to see from a distance, they're the same. It don't matter. That's that's the problem with them. They are the racist without realizing they are the racist. You become what you hate. Is it is it is true. You become what you hate. It is what it is. The thing that you hate most, you end up becoming after a while of obsession with it. Their music is different. The way they dress is different. Their language is completely their own too. So what does diverse even mean? Everyone. What did what did uh what did uh Obi Wan say? You were supposed to destroy the Sith, not join them. One is diverse. I don't really care what color you are. Even if you're white, I'm here to tell you, you are in fact as well diverse too. Don't let people tell you that you're lesser or something just because your skin is white, that's dumb. Imagine a woke person traveling back, back, in, traveling back, traveling back in time to stop evolving warring states guys, from fighting with guys. guys. <laughs> you're all white. As a past hater, I can say that's true. It's like, as a past hater, you know, I can say that's true. bro, that's like, when you think about it this way, it's like that scene. I don't ever want to see that weird that movie with Kevin Hart. I forgot what it was. I think it was uh Is that movie with him and Ice Ice Cube? I forgot what it was called. And it was the first movie. And I remember he he plays a security guard in the in the movie. And at the beginning, it was even in the trailer, but like um in the movie, he finds these bunch of these white kids cuz he's a security guard at the high school and these white kids are like fighting and he runs between the white kids and say hey stop you don't you're white you're white you don't fight <laughs> that's what exactly what i thought of when you said that i was like white people fight all the time what are you talking about <laughs> like we have really brainwashed our kids to think white people just don't do anything jesus christ <laughs> what the fuck but diverse people, they saw through your lies, and now your side is falling apart. They knew it wasn't genuine, and now you're all panicking. You're also kind of a racist, Kihun Chan. I mean, remember when you said this back on January 21st, 2022? You said via Twitter, Do I hate white people? Yes. And if you're a friend, you'll understand why this is never personal. I hate white privilege so much, their ability to scream reverse racism when faced with a tiny bit of criticism the world revolves around them, even in Singapore, every day. Wow. You must... Re and you know what's funny about this, too? The same people who claim they hate white people will end up being with a white person they're lo they, they, they'll be uh, in, in romantically involved with nine times out of ten. Ain't that funny? I think there was, like, a whole subgroup of people who claim they hate white people, but... They say they'll only date them because they're trying to... What, what was the reason? It's like a weird hate fetish thing. It's, it's a weird thing. Imagine being a white person um, in a relationship with a minority. And the minority always constantly brings up your whiteness in the relationship. Or if you ever give an opinion that seems stable and sound. Right, but right. because it goes against their Crazy narrative. Right. Right. It goes against or their nerves. Letters. They like to bring up, you they know, love they what hate. they hate. Yeah, like they love what they hate. They become what they hate. It's like it's 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 really strange. It's a weird thing. It's a weird thing. It is a weird. Jr. Jr. That happened to me. Thing. I don't Can know you what imagine happened to me. Work out. Can, Can you imagine, imagine that it didn't work out? <laughs> because like it's like no matter if you give like and I've seen this happen and I I've seen. Some people that I've I've known that's in an interracial relationship, they'll be with the person they're with, and whenever that person has like a problem right, and, and right, they bring up and like right. the Me. race, Me. which is not all that serious, they'll try to shame their in the their their so significant other. Me. Me. To, to like beyond anything, they'll try to shame them beyond anything, saying like, "Oh, you don't understand." Jr. Jr. Then why she you would call me up crying, she would call me up crying, having been pulled over by a cop, screaming she was gonna die. Even when the cop was the same race as her. Was 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 the same race as her. Yes, that's that's it what's was scary. Wild. That's scary. Me. That's scary, bro. Like if you're thinking like this, and this, and no, he said the cop is the same race as you. That's crazy.
I gotta mute myself because this is gonna be causing trouble. Hold on. Hold on. It's gonna cause too much trouble. There we go. Anyway, so like it's like like that's crazy. Think about that. More and then matters. L O L J O L J R. That's crazy. That that that's stupid. Like, why are you with someone if you claim that their race, their their so-called race of people, is such a problem to the point that when they ever speak up about how you're being a bit unreasonable in the in a particular situation, you start saying, "Oh, you don't understand. You're not you're not black. You're not Asian. You're not you're not this particular race that you claim is so oppressed. You're not you're not this orientation." You're not from this country, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm like, dude, sometimes, most, like, most cases, it's not even a race thing. It's just a logical problem. And then you bring race or whatever the fuck into the conversation as if that's a justification for you to JR, be an asshole. JR, I think like, it's because hell? they don't actually I think believe it's because the lie they, they don't actually not believe really, the lie they are preaching. Down. Not really. Not deep down. No, I don't think it is. I think what it is, they just need a justification. That's that's where it is. The justification doesn't have to make much sense to them. It just needs to be a justification in general. I think that's where the problem comes in. Um, blame anything but me. I am not the problem. I am the victim. No matter what, I need to be the victim. Because if I'm the victim, I not only get the points of being what, do whatever the fuck I want... But I also get the, 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 the pride, I get the, the accolades, I get, I get everything but being accountable. Because accountable is not fun. I have to say sorry, I have to do the right thing, especially that I have to do the right More thing all letters. the time. My justification, My justification, justification is just, just because. because. Yes, just because. Just because. It's like those people say, why JR, you do that? JR. You know, because... Because if a literal actual 1940s Nazi was smoking hot and right here right now, I would not marry them. I have principles. Yep. I have principles. Yep. Yeah, when you lack and violate your principles, you're, 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 your principles, you're subjugated to anything to happen to you. Like, that's the thing. Do not violate your principles, whether it's on the religious beliefs or whatever beliefs you may have. Do not violate your principles, because once you do that, you are subjugated to anything happening to you from that point. You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, yes. Admitting that you hate white people in general. It's one thing if you if if you if you lack in ignorance in, in certain situations, but when you purposely know what's going on and you 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 violate them because oh it's a friend or oh it's a family member oh is it this or oh is it that you're just you're letting the trojan horse into your problem or into your your space and then once that once the trojan horse opens up whatever comes out of it well that's on to you you know what I'm saying? You can't play those games. You can't be a respecter of a person. You have to be respect of your principles. Once your principles are violated, everything goes out the window. No one respects you. You don't respect yourself. No one respects you. Why would I take you seriously if you don't respect yourself? Like, it is what it is. You have to know what's best for you in the situation, no matter what, and have community thinking amongst your peers. So you shouldn't just look out for yourself alone but look what was best for yourself and the community around you in a way that if it was you would you want that happen to you you know what i'm saying and is it fair regardless of the so-called um uh political climate or whatever race oppression you want to play olympic bullshit you know what i'm saying is it fair is it fair that this white guy is or white lady is getting the same accolades as that black person who's DEI? You know what I'm saying? JR. Is it fair? And that's why we have the and guy that's code. Why we have the guy code. code. Yep. General, no matter who they are, because they're white, but it's not personal. It's not racist, of course, because you can't be racist to white people, apparently, which You can. A black person can be racist. A white a Asian person can be racist. Uh, an indigenous person can be racist. A person who has no arm or leg or literally walking with no limbs whatsoever can still be racist. Anyone can be racist. The 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 only thing that probably can't be racist is probably an animal. <laughs> but that probably is can be still racist if. Oh no, I don't think an animal can be racist. <laughs> it's a lie, by the way. Don't ever believe that. 
Everything that you say, Kihun Chan, is exactly what it always is. It's projection. You're projecting your insecurities onto others because you can't face your own inadequacies. Maybe that's debatable. I'm not sure. That could be taught. Because racism is more taught than it is just like inherently. But then again, racism is a form of caution. I don't think it's like, it's a form of caution, but it's taken to the, to the nth absolutely degree racist. that if you have like animals a reasonable... Animals ain't absolutely racist. Let me see. He said... He said animals ate absolutely racist. Or asterisk. But um, I think asterisk. it's taken to such an eighth degree that if you have a reasonable sound criticism against something, you're racist. So like you can't win. Instead of coming to terms with that, you'd rather shift the blame and claim that it's the fault of an entire group of people instead of just you. And it's hilarious how you say even in Singapore. So wait, do you live there? I'm assuming I could be wrong, but even so. Singapore is obviously not going to have a massive white people population compared to the native ethnic groups that are there. So you're so brainwashed by the vitriolic hate that you consume being perpetuated by your white liberal friends most likely, which is hilarious the more you think about it. You know, it. It, it is really hilarious. The people who made her, made this individual think this way is the same people who she claims she hates. It, that you've created a victimhood complex around an entire group of people who likely never even think about you at all until you decided to attack a video game. Which, by the way, was made by Chinese people. So racism also is a not racism, racism is instinctual caution. Instinctual caution. Instinctual caution. I don't believe animals have the social intellectual capacity to be racist. I don't believe animals have the social intellectual capacity to be racist. I don't think so either. They don't even understand the concept. No, I don't think so. But a lot of people will pull up that one video with the tur with the turtle. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. Oh, you still have the same pro profile picture. I don't remember the name, but I think I recognize the picture with the Robin from Teen Titans when he went on the prom with uh, Starfire. Led to that game exploding in sales. Like, what an incredible career, Chan. You're the first person to successfully somehow time. own yourself in so many ways I recognize the that it should be considered picture, an Olympic sport. It's incredible that Black Myth Wukong has been defamed, attacked, ridiculed, and advocated to be pirated of all things. And in the end, that none of it was going to work. I mean, the game was always they going are. to be a I hit. Have seen a video about but it. thanks to the they efforts of these remember. individuals like Tom about Foley it. and Chan Wait, and Rebecca, they managed to turn a modest success into pretty... Okay. Because, like, there's pictures of, like, there's a video of a little tort turtle, and the guys have a shoe, right? He has a white shoe, and he has, like, tape on it. And it's like a white, and then when the turd, when the tort little turtle, a tortoise, tor turtle, I think it's a tortoise, uh, the tortoise walks up to the sh to the white strip of the shoe. He doesn't like headbutt it, but when he sees the black strip, he starts head headbutting it. Now I don't think that's racism. I think he just knows the color. <laughs> he just knows the color, but I'm pretty sure I he saw a black person. I don't think I he'll think be they were just monkeys or penguins. Monkeys and pe no, I monkeys and penguins. You guys send me a video on that one. I'm not sure about that one. I never oh, seen yeah, that. I know that Pretty turtle. much the next oh, yeah, I know that this turtle. Point. Yeah. Honestly, Chan, you That's the only video I saw that was the closest thing. I'm like, well, it's a... You could have been just trained to know what black and white is. But I don't think if you went up to a white person, he's attacking them or a black person. I think it can instinctually know the difference between a straight black... A, like, the, the color I'm saying. Because, like... If you saw like a light skinned black person, I don't think he's gonna be headbutting that anytime soon. <laughs> Work in marketing. Like, I'm not kidding, dude. You I remember the strip of the black of the, the tape was extremely black, like 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 black, black, black. So like the cat the cha the, the chances of this tortoise running up this baby tortoise, this little baby this little kid tur tortoise running up on a black person and just headbutting them is unlikely. It takes to clearly take something and bring JR. it to so many JR. more eyes that and isn't ears. Racism, though. With a few that is not racism, though. Animals are I don't think so. That in instead, they have basic tribal them. and group instincts. Instead, they have basic they have tribal no and group instincts. Yeah, I don't for think that they that have is. no concept of race or even species for that matter. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Because like some animals eat each other, and they could they they're from the they could be from the same pod tribe. Uh, uh, group or whatever they sometimes eat each other depending on situations it's just it's what it is it is what it is Made i think if i have to remember right i think crows are like the only ones that holds court in their in their groups they're i think they're the 
I don't think they're the only intelligent um, species uh, of animal to do this, but uh, they're they're known to be very quite um, analytical to a certain um, to, to be very uh, intelligent on how to work amongst each other and JR. how to distinguish each I other. I mean, your cat will eat you I when you die if you fall in your they house. They aren't human. True. They aren't human. No, they're just surviving. In um, they're just surviving organisms that just runs around and do their thing. If the cat is stuck in the house with a dead person, it will eat you. Or a little try to eat you. Yeah, I'm not going to make it. So send me the video. Send me, the, send me the, the, the last few worlds that are there. There's about like 10 of them. So send me the last one in Discord and just like circle them and I'll look through them after the stream. I'm not going to make it. We have to get these out of the way. Science so much money, they could literally drown in how much money they've made in the past week alone. So shout out to Ki Hoon Chan, everybody. Black Myth Wukong's biggest supporter and number one fan. Hey Chen, <laughs> whenever I launch a product, you mind writing some articles about it too? Thank you. You're amazing <laughs> at propping others up. So seriously, thank you truly. Because of you, we're definitely going to be getting more Black Myth Wukong games in the future. And before we end the video, Let's I just go. want to read you one of the funniest and stupid takes on Black Myth Wukong from a user on the Steam forums. Don't harass this person, by the way, but their name is Alan. You know what's funny? Alan. You know, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? That puts that puts them in a very rock and hard place. Because if you tell them, "Hey, if you hate my game, I want you to talk how shitty it is," because I know you're going to actually right, boast my game because people don't like you. LMAO. LMAO. That is the most base thing to do because now you put yourself in a position where you being the the arbiter of things is your downfall. Because now, if you go and say shitty things about my game, nine times out of ten, anyone who's reading this saying it lacks diversity, it has no women in it, this down the third, that's gonna tell, that's gonna whistle blow to most gamers. <gasps> this is a base game. This is a OC I'm working on. Um, it's a base. It's this game's probably based. I'm gonna check that game out anyway. Now they're like shit. Our 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 opinions was supposed to derail this, but we're actually helping. So if I don't talk about it, they might find out anyway. But if I do talk about it, they're gonna find out anyway. Fuck. <laughs> oh man. I G T G. I G T G. See you soon. Okay, later, M. <laughs> Damn. Talk about being a rock in a hard place. Sucks to be a games journalist, huh? Looking for these. But Alan said this via Steam. <laughs> man, it's Alan. Hello, Alan. Looking for these. But Alan said this via Steam. And man, it's so dumb. Let's read it. And it's titled. That shit you crazy. should not have supported this game. Before you fly off the handle and call me woke, hear me out first, okay? There are groups of people out there who have been marginalized for centuries. And we live in a time in which past wrongs can finally be righted. It's baffling to me that you can play a game knowing that not only are the devs proven sexist, but they refuse to include a single iota of diversity in the game. Who what cares? Who the fuck cares? Who the fuck? Who cares? Like, it's gonna get to a point where people are gonna say, who cares? It's not just gonna be me. It's gonna be a bunch of people. I'm pretty sure most people are saying this now. Who cares i don't i really don't as long as the game is good that's all that matters to me if the game is fun don't matter whether well, it's made by a person JR, of color JR, or a person of whoever i am convinced that people who want to write past wrongs, are narcissists, who wrongs are, are narcissists who think they yes. are gods yes 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 you're not wrong you are you are you are beyond beyond right it's it's people who are narcissists. Usually, what did Jordan Lee Peterson say? He said, "Narcissists usually the, the main core of a narcissist is someone who's trying to get accolades for doing absolutely nothing. They or they're trying to do very little to nothing to get accolades or get titles that they did not deserve. It's literally what that is. A nar that's what like what they their what their their goal is to gain as much stuff without doing as much work. So if they can do." literally zero work and get praise they will do it they're not people who earn 
it's it, it, well it takes a special narcissist to like earn and then be a narcissist because you well i don't think think you'd be a narcissist in that sense i think you're just very competent and then you're just very con you're probably overconfident but you're confident so i can't call you a narcissist too much but if you're a person who's just literally trying to right wrongs that you know you can't really fix because you feel like it's an obligation in some weird way that you know you really can't do anything about but you're just trying to virtue signal or whatever case may be oh god nah it, you're, you're come on bro you can't do anything about it, but you're trying to rewrite history as much as possible. And that's going to bite you in the ass anyway. If you guys manage to do that, that's going to bite you in the ass more than you think. What would it hurt to have a person of intersex traits in the game? Why would it be bad to have a single person of color in it? Just one, a single one, and they could be in for five seconds and it wouldn't hurt you, wouldn't it? Don't you think it would make their day to see someone like them for once? Who is really the snowflake if that would bother you? Bro, I'm telling you, this is a game about a monkey with a staff. Where in the fuck do you think you need your so-called diversity? Do you need your person in the wheelchair? They subscribe the delusion they subscribe that if they were, the in, the past, they if they were in the past, they would have done but things reality, differently. But in reality, they would have been the, worst, worst. They been the worst of the worst. They are crowd followers. What's weird about this is that if they put someone who is disabled in, in the game, like someone who's in a wheelchair. How do you expect that to work in somewhere in like the era of this game? Wheelchairs wasn't a thing back then. If anything, back then you had to pick up the individual on like a stretcher or something. I think to a certain extent. Or you have to literally just pick them up by hand and take them to the next place. I think that's how it used to work or something like that. They didn't have nothing called wheelchairs. That was not a thing. They don't even have to be the main character. It's just crazy to me that anyone would support a game that's leaning so far to the right on purpose. Wow. It's like none of you even know anything about it and just bought it because some World of Warcraft YouTuber told you to. You should do more research before making such an expensive purchase. Instead, you were actively marginalizing people Ryan who don't Goss deserve Ryan it, Goss that's all I'm saying, and just people who don't just know crawl, I don't care, know. you should put yourself in their J shoes for once. Is not a little empathy is not ADA wheelchair compliant. Yeah, right? Imagine that! Think that to yourself! You're... It... <sighs> Bro, imagine... Like, what, what JR said. Imagine saying these Wokies back in, like, the medieval days. You go to a dungeon. I don't. You go to a. Let's just use that example. You go to a dungeon, and it's not wheel wheelchair accessible. Who are you gonna go complain to? Like honestly. All you need, you don't even have to agree with them. Just realize that people feel less alone. <laughs> Actually, quite frank, if you was walking around in a wheelchair within those times, people might think you're some type of witch warlock type thing, and probably want to string you up. When they can see themselves in their entertainment, it's just sad that you would purposely be against that. Edit, please just engage like civilized people. The awards don't further your case. Just because you give someone a clown doesn't mean they're wrong. Ah, uh, Alan, it was all I a ruse, you pathetic little ant. I file a report to <laughs> 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 They added wheelchairs JR. and other disabilities to they Dungeon added and Dragons now with that exact plot hole. Now with that exact plot with that exact plot hole. Are you serious? I'm waiting outside LMAO. Well, I guess you're waiting outside LMAO. Wait, are you serious? Are you playing? Wait, bro, are you serious? JR, are you being dead ass? Did they really do that in Dungeons and Dragons? They put wheelchairs? Please, please, you're telling you're joking. I'm taking you serious on that that response. Please tell me you're bullshitting me. I love how he keeps using um happy smile friend references. JR. That's fucking funny. JR. I am 100% serious. I am 100% serious. They walkified serious. the hell out of DND. They walkified the hell out of DND. Oh my god. <laughs> Clown doesn't mean they're wrong. Ah, Alan, it was all a ruse, you pathetic little ant. All right, I'll stop quoting landlord for smiling friends, but seriously, that's my favorite character. Is yes, that motherfucker's funny as hell. Dude. Looking for these. Anyways, this person has lost their composure. <laughs> Black Myth of Kong would not be a better game simply because an these. intersex character exists within it. Because again, like 99% of the characters are literally just weird animal things. I don't know what good it would do if a monkey with lipstick and a septum piercing looked directly into the camera at one point and went, Did you know that I'm gay? <laughs> By the way, it would 
haven't heard <laughs> anyone else that the game is based on Chinese mythology, yet all the English right, voices are in rough. British accents. Rolling on the, the floor, game doesn't laughing, already on seem to floor, care laughing, about these things, but floor, hey. Laughing, rolling on the floor <laughs> laughing, rolling on the floor laughing. <laughs> Bro, oh man. We we have we are living SNL levels of of like fuck bro these are like <sighs> they don't then neither do i but it is funny how everyone is british in this game considering who made it and what it's about but again they're animals so who cares you know what wukong needs more than intersex characters more transformations more weapons and spells and in the future i hope they incorporate a metroidvania style to the game so that you can circle back to areas with new transformations to explore deeper into the world that you pass by already. The last thing this game JR. needs is any JR. real world Screeches. representation Make it in it. This is like getting mad at a, Make it lammy and gay. Yep. a game like Jack and Daxter that doesn't have more humans in it. Like, who cares, dude? I actually love it when games just go fully in on making stuff with zero human beings at all in it in the first place. Like, hell yeah, give me more weird looking freaks in my games. And I don't mean like Concord or Outlaws. I mean, like in Psycho, you know what they that want. One guy says stuff. Like, you know what they want. They want the. You know what type of diversity they want. They want the type of diversity talking points as if they was watching a uh, Zootopia. They want Zoo Zootopia levels types of talks. That's what they want. That's the closest. That's why that movie never got no bullshit response uh, from these people because it talked about. Or m use metaphors in a particular way for them to identify with such. That's the problem. And because Zootopia exists, JR, they believe JR. they believe Dude, the monkey game on a staff is true. Absolutely and roasted concords and outlaws. Again. Listen to that again. Yep. Like this. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. <laughs> Hell yeah. <okay. laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, go back, go back, hold up. Last thing this game needs is any real world representation in it. This is like getting <laughs> mad at a game like Jack and Daxter that doesn't have more humans in it. Like, who cares, dude? I actually love it when games just go fully in on making stuff with zero human beings at all in it in the first place. Like, hell yeah, give me more weird looking freaks in my games. And I don't mean like Concord or Outlaws. I mean, like, more or less. Not when that one guy says, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. JR, you are, JR, you are, you are getting I am the milk of your XD, are. but your response are fire. <laughs> Hold on, let me hear what he says. I mean, like, in Psychonauts, when that one guy says stuff like this I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Just weirdo <laughs> saying or dumb things or that or make leathers. me laugh. Because That's what I want. <laughs> <things. laughs> but no, we don't need a trans monkey to be talking like you for animals. Right, right, right. Right. Obsession with current right. ideas of right. games was that is what's killing you so much. Was that, LOL. <laughs> that was Psychonauts, the first game. Base game, actually. If you go back and we'll play that game, that game's pretty based. Uh, because the Predator Prey thing kind of is like a prevalent thing that I Fox talked to, but yeah. And as I was making this video, more has happened because of course it did. This is from tech4gamers.com. And Grums notified me of this originally, but Black Myth Wukong is getting review bombed on Metacritic with hundreds of bad reviews out of Raya nowhere. Raya Raya so what's going on? Oh, well, it's apparently oh. around 736 negative reviews being pushed that are giving the game user scores of around 1 or 2 or even 0 out of 10. The writer in this Tech for Gamers article theorizes that the reason it's happening is simply for political reasons, and I would not be surprised by this either. It's very likely that the wokey wokey weirdos out there who <laughs> lost the wokey. fight are really angry that this game has been doing really well and are wokey now wokey. resorting to review bombing the game in order to drop the score, hoping to dissuade others from buying the game if the user score becomes extremely negative, I guess. Of course, this won't actually do much since the supporters have released my secret forces are always so my going are always fire is why not even want to they can silence a positive me. review, <laughs> that would really help out. If the positives can outweigh the blatant fake woke negative reviews, then yet again the woke freaks have lost on another front yet again. Grums believes it's being done because Star Wars Outlaws comes out soon and these wokies want that game to soar in sales? Because it pushes a diverse woman of color as the main character whose face got destroyed by the modern audience artists. To be frank, it won't really work, not even a little. People are too informed now, they can't be lied to. 
And there's no way that Outlaws outsells Wukong. I would be genuinely shocked if that were to happen. Even though Outlaws is on more platforms too, it still won't do any better. Plus, it's Ubisoft. Come on now, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if 500 of these accounts are just ki Hoon Chan spending their afternoons review bombing Wukong until the number gets to zero. There has never been a bigger hater and supporter of a single game in the entire world. We could all die tomorrow. As long as ki Hoon Chan exists, <laughs> Black Myth Wukong will still have its number one writer, and that's crazy, bro. <laughs> to see such a failure of a boycott backfire in such a way, it's like music to my old rattled ears. Nice. But I think that's enough for now. From Black Myth Wukong, it's clear that we're waiting, fellas, so whip it out for all to see. Let us bask in our glory. Let it hang, As bye. based gaming continues to Let win. Let it hang! Before. They can fight all they want. We'll just keep on winning. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and all of that. Thanks to my patrons and members. Have a wonderful day and stay positive, everybody. I'm proud of you all. I hope this video brought a little light to your world today and just thanks for being here. Now, if you don't mind me, I got a date with a spider lady in Wukong and I gotta go beat some freaks with my stick in the game, I mean. Okay, I'm done talking. See you soon. All right, so that's a Demion. <laughs> uh, this is probably the last video I'll do. Letters. I like the giant, like the mythical, giant monkey mythical monkey man. He makes, he makes me smile. Yes. <laughs> Okay, this is a Demion. Thank you, Demion, for this video. This is going to be my last video on Wukong. I'm tired of this. I'm not tired of the game. I'm just tired of this being a constant thing in my videos. It's getting a little old. We get it. The game's based. The game's awesome, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so, with that said, like to try to share for all comments. Hope you guys enjoy this. not great stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. I stand with the monkey man with a stick. <laughs> Some of that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>